And the title of her speech is The Teacher, The Mother Eagle, The Travel Companion. Sophia Ngoge. Sophia Ngoge, The Teacher, The Mother Eagle, The Travel Companion. When I first visited a Toastmasters club, I felt so intimidated. While I was not new to public speaking, the quality of speeches that was being delivered and also the different roles that the Toastmasters were undertaking was quite impressive. And I wondered, could I ever do this? In fact, it took me three years before I finally visited SEMA Toastmasters and signed up to be a member. It was such a joy when I got a call from Peggy and she was like, you are going to be my, I'm going to be your mentor. I was happy to know that the Toastmasters journey was not going to be alone walk in the park. The Toastmasters program places a great emphasis on mentorship. When I think about mentorship, I have encountered different mentors in my life. In particular, when I think of their characteristics, I would group them into three the teacher, the mother ego, and the travel companion. My first job stands out for me because this is where I encountered these three types of mentors. First, the teacher. This is the one who teaches me new skills or things that I didn't know. Do you recall your first job? I recall mine. As a fresh sociology gra graduate, I was ready to show the world and to showcase my skills. After all, hadn't the late president, Daniel Trotich Arab Moy not said, I give you the power to read and do all that appertains to this degree. So bring it on world. My first job was working for an organization that was working on gender issues. I was actually surprised to know that I wasn't as brilliant as I had imagined. And it seems that people had actually been working on gender issues even before I entered college. And by the time I graduated, Hillary Clinton had even made the famous declaration, women rights are human rights. The first time I did a report of a workshop, I was so devastated when I got the report back with so many red marks and comments. Was my supervisor implying that I didn't have a mastery of the English language? One of my colleagues was kind enough. She stepped into the office and she told me, oh, yours is not even as bad. I should mention that my supervisor was actually a graduate of masters, a master's degree in English and literature. It was not easy, but I took it in straight and I, relentlessly, relent, I was relentless, relentless in working on my skills as far as the reporting is concerned. And by the time I finished the, the three years in the organization, I was actually the one reviewing reports for other staff members. So this first supervisor was actually like a teacher to me. He was a mentor as he taught me skills that I wasn't good at. The second kind of mentors that I've interacted with, the mother ego. It is said that for a baby ego to fly, it needs to be pushed out and the mother pushes out the, the ego for it to fly. I first met the Honorable Adelina Mao, the current deputy governor for Makweni, when she was the director of that organization. She was then a member of parliament and she kept asking me to attend events that she was invited to. I remember the first time she asked me to attend a meeting, which was a dinner lunch for a certain report. And I was scared. How was I even going to dress? And what about the cutlery? How do I know which cutlery to use where? But she dismissed me and she told me, it's a high time you started rubbing shoulders with who is who in this sector. And so I had to go. I'm grateful for her and for others who have pushed me, even when I wasn't sure whether my wings are going to carry me. The third kind of a mentor is the travel companion, the kind that journeys with me. One of the board members that I met in this organization, Rita 
turned out to be my noble friend and she's my friend to date. She's the kind of friend that I will call whether it is for a professional issue or a personal issue, and she'll be able to guide me or just chat with me and tell me this seems to be okay, or just to listen to what I want to say. She has remained a travel companion. I see her like a compass in my life for both personal and also professional issues. I can call her or we can have a cup of coffee and I feel I'm receiving mentorship from her. These are some of the characteristics of mentors that I have interacted with. As a Toastmaster, I have interacted with different mentors. For example, the teacher like Robert the First and Lillian, who are longer term Toastmasters and they are teaching me many skills as I interact them in mentorship. The mother ego, like Peggy and Evelyn, who keep pushing me to take up new roles. That's how I found myself in organizing the division conference and pushing me even when I'm not sure that I want to take the next step and for me to even step forward and finish my speeches and do my projects. And the most exciting is actually this that category, the travel companion. I've encountered many travel companions in this Toastmasters club, including the members of the VPE committee, always encouraging each other and never feeling I'm alone. Members of Toastmasters, those we are doing dynamic leadership with, who we keep saying, why are you? We need to you know, get on and really do this and finish and have been my travel companions. But more so, the members who clap and applaud even when I can't pronounce the word of the day, which I have warned Akatha about, and support me as I deliver my speeches. Toastmasters, are you a mentor? Do you have a mentor? You need to reach out and be a mentor to other Toastmasters. The Toastmasters journey is only exciting if you can be able to interact and get mentorship from others and also reach out and be a mentor. If you have been in Toastmasters for some time, reach out. You can be the teacher, you can be the mother ego, or you can be a travel companion for a fellow Toastmaster. Over to you, Madam Tia Mogi.